Good morning. I just called around to a bunch of smog and auto repair places. And I made some appointments for like tomorrow. But I just found one that'll take me right now for smog and auto repair. So I'm gonna get it done. I slept very deeply. I hope I don't have a cold. I might. That's the that's the life. That's you go on tour for a few days and that's what happens. Alright, time to get out of here. I'm gonna multitask through my computer and edit yesterday's video. No, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Nala? Are you hungry? No. Yeah? Go get it! Go! Go! I was overdue for shoes. I really needed new shoes. So this is sort of like my first unboxing, except for that one time I did the Qdoba thing. Oh, you want the shoe? She wants the shoe. Here you go. Here you have it. It's yours now. No joke, last time I did this, I ate shit. I fell. I fell in the hallway really hard. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful day. That's like the best thing about California. And I really appreciate it, because I'm a Seattle boy. But like, man, the weather is amazing here all year round. Granted, I love snowboarding, so I don't really get like enough snowboarding time. The mountain's only a few hours away, actually. I didn't shave today. <laughs> All right, you guys get to see uh, what little mustache you David's gonna look like. <laughs> gonna be great. So I'm clearly not back on my routine. I'm usually at my desk pretty early, but we have to register our new purchase as far as being a responsible adult goes. Moment of truth, right here. All right, started up like a champ. Uh, thank you very much. No problem, enjoy. Thank you. So I'm gonna get a little editing done on the vlog, but they don't have power outlets around here, so I might have to I might have to leave in probably a few minutes. My laptop doesn't really last very long. So I have my own diner. It's nice. They don't have Wi-Fi, but I don't need Wi-Fi. I gotta edit this video from yesterday. I'm just waiting for my car to be fixed. So that, I mean, that's a pretty expensive price tag for the day. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, I guess let's do what we have to do, you know. Do. All right, well, good news. Just heard back from the mechanic next door. Uh, great news about everything. I'm gonna be getting the car into tip-top shape. Very excited, so I'm watching and editing some of these videos right now. And you know, I had my idea about bringing some of you guys on tour. I'm sure you'd watch all my car troubles and be like, why would I go on tour with this guy? He's, he's haunted. The van's gonna be reliable, and that's the most important thing, so that I can tour uh, without any problems in the future. So that's exciting. Gonna finish editing this video, then gonna go to the DMV and register the thing. Finished editing my vlog from yesterday, and about to head out to go check on the vehicle. There she is. How's it going? David? Yep. Just going to the DMV. I have very low expectations for how well this is going to go, how fun this will be. Yeah. This is the worst. I'll put timestamps on the video because I have no clue how long it's been. How's it going? And I'm out the door. Uh, I'll look at the screen cap to see how long that was. I solved nothing. I solved absolutely nothing. That was the worst. Uh, I need, sorry if I'm overexposed. I need to find, I need the title. I didn't have the title. That sucked. Uh, I thought it was in the bundle of papers. Maybe it's in the car still, it's just stupid. Of course it's not. Maybe they never gave me the title. Number two, Sales tax was another thousand dollars. 
Uh, that's stupid. <laughs> what a day. It's not even over yet. I knew registering a vehicle would be annoying. I'm so glad I get to have you with me to watch the uh, annoyance of the DMV and a lot of unexpected costs. Hey! There she is. Can you say hi to my vlog? Hi vlog. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You what you got? Coconut porter. My fan. Predictable. We got the warm olives. <laughs> very hot olives. Ah, oh, that is really hot. She told you not to touch it. Sorry. So dinner was great. We, we first started with a nice uh, olive appetizer <laughs> and moved into uh, splitting a really nice, uh, what was it, a steak sandwich? Rib, rib, whatever, it was delicious. Uh, with truffle fries. And our conversation has quickly turned to uh, the... On public toilets, there's a crack in the middle that I think... Of the seat. Of the seat, of like the in the front. That I think is because it allows guys to pee without having to lift the seat, as well as acting as a preventative measure from their dick touching the <laughs> top of the bottom of the seat in front of them when they're sitting down to poop. Can I tell you what Google says it's there for? Sure. <laughs> it's not what you think. It's not what lie. Um, the open seat was designed to allow women to wipe the perineal area after perineal. using okay, after using the water closet without contacting a seat that might be unhygienic. No, that's bull. So yeah, this is what dates turn into for those of you that uh, are finding um, a new love in your life and are scared to eat a messy meal uh, for fear of having a little food in your teeth or looking like a wolf sucking off of Romulus's teeth while you're eating. No matter what kind of junk you're packing, U-shaped seats give you a little, a little breathing room to avoid touching the seat That's with your exactly genitals. true. How do you hold your shirt if you're standing? It, <laughs> <laughs> I know because I see it. <laughs> he leaves the door open. And I always have like a little bit of a, a little bit of spittle on the bottom of my shirt from where I've been <laughs> holding my shirt up while I pee. Really good conversation. Thanks for having that with us. Really nice. <laughs> Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. The date turned into a a dessert An feast. Date. <laughs> just enjoyed the crap out of that sample. And I didn't. <laughs> it was really tasty. Look how big the TV uh, is. Can I put on a movie while we try it on? Yeah, only one movie. <laughs> how comfortable are you right now? Does this recline? Uh, yeah, I think all the seats are electronic. Where yeah, that's so cool. I'm design. sorry. I know. Okay, so that ends the vlog for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you comment, share the video if you want to get extra points, and like it. Nala likes it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you tomorrow. Back to the regular grind, hopefully soon. My van is almost registered. Not 100%. Goodbye. Goodbye.